They're used by stock markets across the world to try to stem major financial losses. CCTV's Roe Ruttenberg explains how they work. China's markets are known for their volatility. That's largely thanks to the country's 200 million people who are trading. Unlike in other markets, most traders on the Chinese market are everyday citizens, not institutional investors. They trade quickly and often. The result, a lot of fluctuation and occasionally a herd pack mentality. Last year, China's markets grew by more than 50 percent in the first six months alone, then plunged 43 percent by late summer in a massive panic-stricken sell-off that wiped trillions of dollars off of shares around the world. August 24th came to be known as Black Monday. Regulators were then urged to introduce new mechanisms aimed at stifling wild swings in the market. And this week, some of those went into effect, most notably a circuit breaker that automatically slams the brakes on trading when the market tumbles or surges too much. The circuit breaker mechanism will protect the market and investors in the long run. It will protect the market from plunging too much when impacted by short-term factors. So I think it will be understood in future operations and play its role in reducing daily fluctuations. In China's Hushin 300 index, which covers both the Shanghai and Shenzhen bourses, the first trigger is 5 percent up or down. That brings a 15-minute timeout from trading. The original proposal published in September called for the pause to be twice as long. It was changed. The next trigger, 7 percent in either direction, shuts down trading for the rest of the day. Some argued the number should have been higher. On Monday, the day that it was introduced in China, the circuit breaker was already put into use. It looks like the Chinese monetary authorities are trying to, I mean, they're wading into the, the markets and intervening more than people in the U.S. would. And it, it sounds like they're trying to stabilize the market, you know, make it a safer place. So they put in uh, various measures that didn't work overnight, and it fell 7 percent, and the market was closed. Some analysts say the circuit breaker adds redundancy and effectively amounts to automated meddling. A number of countries use trading curbs like circuit breakers. France has them, so do Japan and South Korea. The first one was actually introduced in the U.S. in the late 1980s. It was used a decade later for the first time, long before it was introduced in China. Rowie Rettenberg, CCTV in Washington.